Hello and welcome back. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight 10 exotic vacations you can take without a passport. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. You've decided you want a vacation, but there's a problem. Either you or your significant other doesn't have a passport. Maybe you've never had the time, money, or desire to travel abroad previously. Or perhaps your old passport has expired. Whatever the reason, you still have choices, and this video should give you an awesome start as you plan your next tropical getaway. We have found 11 extraordinary destinations and even added a bonus entry to the end that you certainly don't want to miss. But our research has led us to an exclusive list of beautiful hotspots, some in the Caribbean, others surprisingly here in the United States, and we even discovered a few in the far reaches of the Pacific Ocean. These are all totally bucket list worthy, and we are excited to unveil these 11 incredible escapes that offer paradise without a passport. But before we go too far, we want to pause and remind you that we are in post-pandemic travel environment. So please do your due diligence and check on vaccination requirements as you're making plans for your big family trip, girls getaway, or vacation with your boo. So go ahead and start planning today so that when travel is in full swing again, you're ready to take off. And the best part is all you need is a driver's license and a birth certificate. In this original Black Excellence presentation, we want to detail 11 exotic getaways you can take without a passport. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas. A territory of the United States, the U.S. Virgin Islands is an exotic group of islands located in the Caribbean Sea. The Virgin Islands is comprised of three principal islands, St. Croix, St. John, and St. Thomas, plus 50 smaller islands. Located 1,100 miles from Miami, the U.S. Virgin Islands are just a short flight from Florida. The dreamy land and seascapes have earned it the nickname America's Paradise since it is famous for its beautiful white sand beaches and turquoise waters. It is consistently ranked among the top 10 vacation destinations in the world, and the weather is almost always beach perfect with temperatures in the 70s and 80s throughout the year. You can spend your day relaxing, but if you want to kick it up a notch, there is an abundance of exhilarating water activities from world-class diving, deep sea fishing, sailing, snorkeling, kayaking, and paddleboarding to windsurfing and jet skiing. Or you can enjoy land activities with awe-inspiring vistas like horseback riding, hiking, biking, and entrancing eco-tours. But we want to point out that each island offers something different. Called Rock City for its hilly, craggy horizon, St. Thomas is known for luxury, from the mega yachts to the high-end storefronts. Located a short ferry ride east, St. John appeals to honeymooners and nature lovers. Way down south in the Caribbean Sea, St. Croix allows visitors to explore the island's colonial heritage and the history of slavery at several different forts and plantations. With a tapestry of West Indian, African, European, and American influences, you'll be sure to experience the diversity, taste it in the local fare and cuisine, see it in the architecture and art, and hear it in the captivating sounds of the music. Number two, Vieques Island. There is a hidden gem tucked just seven miles east of Puerto Rico, the Vieques Island. Vieques Island is an exotic place with an intriguing history and countless beaches. The island offers an ideal vacation spot with a range of historic sites. It's considered a haven for those seeking an authentic Caribbean experience, but one that is relatively quiet, lush, uncrowded, and gorgeous. Of course, there are charming towns and resorts, but the roaming wild horses, undeveloped beach coves, and lack of traffic lights help to create the illusion that the island is still wild and untouched. You can only reach these islands by boat, ferry, water taxis, or small planes from Puerto Rico. But once you get there, Vieques offers it all and then some. The beaches on Vieques are some of the best in the Caribbean, 
and you get to enjoy the warm, crystal clear waters that sit at the edge of these idyllic beaches year round in this exotic part of the world. And if you don't do anything else, you must experience the magical glow of Mosquito Bay, the brightest bioluminescent bay in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The most popular thing in such an amazing experience is to kayak in Mosquito Bay after dark underneath the starry night sky as your paddles light the waters. For those that love adventure under the sun, you can enjoy underwater adventures snorkeling and scuba diving the clear waters. Other adventures include jet skiing, visiting the small quaint museums, exploring the island by hiking, bicycling, and horseback riding. Eco-travelers can also enjoy bird watching and nature trails. You can also sail into the sunset, go fishing, and finish the day enjoying a delicious dinner. As an added treat, you should head over to its sister island, Culebra, for a day. It also offers a laid-back vibe in the best of ways and is world-renowned for having one of the best beaches on Earth in Flamenco Beach. Number 3. Key West, Florida Located closer to Cuba than to Miami, Key West is Florida's irreverent southernmost subtropical paradise, a unique confluence of history, climate, natural beauty, cultural diversity, architecture, and unabashed romantic appeal. Key West is renowned as one of the very best places, if not the best, to experience the Caribbean without technically leaving the states. It offers a similar tropical climate with frequent brilliant blue skies, swaying palms, picturesque beaches, and a laid-back island vibe. Whether you're looking to let loose and get wild or you want to enjoy peace and relaxation, there are Key West attractions for everyone. Some of the most popular Key West tourist activities on the water include dolphin encounters, kayaking the backcountry, fishing, diving, and snorkeling at Fort Jefferson and the Dry Tortugas. But the fun doesn't stop there. There are also water sports, golfing, or renting a boat at a Key West marina to explore on your own. On land, shopping, museums, art galleries, tours, theaters, and more await you. Or you can simply relax in the sand at one of the Key West beaches, by the pool at your Key West hotel, or on Duval Street with a cocktail in hand. Fabulous entertainment can be had simply by heading to Mallory Square to enjoy the sunset celebration. Partiers enjoy the year-round hopping nightlife marked by sidewalk cafes, open-air bars, legendary pubs, and world-class restaurants. The streets come alive each evening with the host of jugglers, animal acts, and tightrope walkers entertaining the crowd. There are also flourishing stage shows of drama, musicals, and comedy as well. African cultural heritage is celebrated through the indigenous food, church services, and annual festivals held in the Bahama Village neighborhood, founded in the early 1800s by Africans migrating from the Bahamas. The neighborhood was frequented by Ernest Hemingway during the 1930s to watch boxing matches. Other significant cultural sites include an 1860 African burial ground, believed by experts to be America's only African refugee cemetery. Number 4. South Padre Island, Texas You might not think of Texas as the place for a tropical vacation, but South Padre Island is Texas's best family beach and coastal resort with beautiful beaches, tall sand dunes, and warm, clear, clean gulf waters. Located just two miles off the southern tip of Texas, it is home to the world's longest barrier island, resting offshore and stretching 115 miles down the coast and ending just shy of the Rio Grande. South Padre Island is a warm, inviting, and an exciting destination where it's sunny most of the year. Much of Padre is relatively unexplored, but unassuming bed and breakfast can be found in quiet little pockets along the island. Alternatively, if you want something a little more indulgent, there's Pearl South Padre, a beachfront resort where every room has a private ocean-facing balcony and you can make good use of the pool's swim-up bar. With incredible saltwater fishing, gulf shrimp, fresh fish, and seafood are served at most of the island's restaurants. A wide selection of hotels and condos are available, from cheap to luxurious. Once on the island, you can walk or catch the free shuttle, which will transport you along the island or into the neighboring town of Port Isabel. 
where you may want to spend an afternoon strolling Lighthouse Square, home of the historical Port Isabel Lighthouse. At Lighthouse Square, you'll find museums, art galleries, restaurants, coffee shops, ice cream parlors, and the South Padre Island Dolphin Research and Sea Life Center. South Padre Island also offers visitors a chance to try fun activities, such as surfing lessons, snorkeling, scuba diving, parasailing, dolphin watching, jet skiing, deep sea fishing or bay fishing charters, windsurfing, skydiving, and sandcastle building lessons for the kids. But at some point during your vacation, you'll simply choose to relax on the powdery beaches while enjoying either a cold beverage or a cocktail and a bit of fresh Texas Gulf seafood. Number five, San Juan, Puerto Rico. The island of Puerto Rico is an unincorporated territory of the United States, but has long been a favorite of American travelers. Puerto Rico is marked by rich history and culture, exceptional food, pristine beaches, majestic mountains, relaxation and adventure, all packed into one sun-kissed Caribbean paradise. Around every corner, you'll find a celebration of life, a vibrant cultural experience, food for the soul, and a captivating rhythm. Vacationers will have many interesting places to visit and fun things to do, from hiking a tropical forest, kayaking in bioluminescent bays, visiting UNESCO historic sites, or booking thrilling excursions. Whether you're traveling with children, dreaming of a romantic tropical escape, desiring a vibrant city weekend trip, or a pampering luxurious vacation, Puerto Rico will not disappoint. Here you'll feel like you are family instead of just a visitor, since Puerto Ricans are known to be the happiest people in the world. They have a very festive outlook on life that is inspiring to visitors and evident in their hospitality. The most popular vacation destination in Puerto Rico is the capital city of San Juan, complete with beaches, historic sites, museums, excellent dining options, plenty of fun activities on the water, and a vibrant nightlife. On the west side of the island, you can experience authentic tourist-friendly towns where the pace is slower with an abundance of quiet beaches, charming towns, and plenty of interesting sites and places to visit. Just five minutes from the airport, the district of Isla Verde is a popular vacation spot for its beaches, beachfront resorts, casinos, and nightlife, and a convenient location to the attractions in San Juan. Puerto Rico is also home to Flamenco Beach, one of the best beaches in the world. In summary, Puerto Rico is a beach lover's destination and a Caribbean destination where the best way to enjoy it may be to just rent a Jeep and go beach hopping till sunset. Number six, Hawaii. Kauai, Maui, Ojai, Lanai. Hawaii is like no place on earth. Consisting of nine main islands, it is a South Pacific wonderland that has been calling to travelers for years and will for years to come. Although each island has similarities, each one has its own unique appeal, beauty, and history. Whether you choose to stay on the big island of Hawaii, Oahu, Lanai, Maui, Kauai, and Molokai, you'll find incredible beaches, delicious eats, and their own unique flavor. The big island of Hawaii is home to new land being birthed by volcanoes and a number of jet black sand beaches. If you're looking for waterfalls and tranquility, Kauai is our recommendation. While Oahu offers the chance to get swept up by the capital's kinetic energy, Maui tends to offer a little something for everyone. In rural Molokai, native Hawaiian traditions run long, and on Lanai, you can escape to the ultimate in resort luxury. Travelers can discover the glimmering ocean, emerald valleys, and golden sands, or they can enjoy the vibrant nightlife, pristine beaches, and plenty of outdoor activities. Children love spending time in the sparkling ocean waters and joining the endless number of entertaining and often educational tours of the island. As a cultural crossroads, Hawaii's history is unlike any other on Earth. Walk in the footsteps of royalty at ancient temples, experience the art of hula, and more. With the bounty of fresh fruits and vegetables, lush upland cattle farms, and Pacific waters teeming with sashimi-grade fish, Hawaiian cuisine is a colorful tapestry of tastes and traditions. You can get a closer look at Hawaii's delicate ecosystem and help keep the island sustainable for generations to come. Or take a taro or coffee farm tour, peruse the sunshine markets of Kauai, or explore the many botanical gardens throughout the Hawaii Islands. Whatever you choose, 
it will not take much to get lost in the spiritual beauty of the hula and find out how the warmth of Hawaiians wonderfully complement the island's perfect temperatures. Number 7. American Samoa American Samoa is an unincorporated territory of the U.S. offering the chance to experience some of the world's most pristine beaches, unspoiled reefs, and fantastic marine life. A collection of five lush mountainous volcanic islands drop between Fiji and the Cook Islands, American Samoa offers a wealth of unique experiences and the kind of genuine hospitality that's become nearly impossible to find. Not to mention, 90% of its incredible volcanic peaks, thick rainforests, and pristine coral reefs remain virgin landscape. That said, the American Samoa has a distinct look and feels unlike any other U.S. destination. Defined by Polynesian culture and heritage, the native Samoan culture is still undeniably authentic here. The island doesn't see a lot of tourists, and most of the visitors are those making day trips from cruise ships. A truly off-the-beaten-path destination, there are no five-star hotels here or fancy name retail outlets or even mass tourism, but what you will discover is a holiday destination with affordable accommodation and services, a great selection of retail stores, an ecotourism paradise, and the friendliest people in the South Pacific. Most travelers to American Samoa will begin their journey at the capital city of Tutuila, home to its international airport and the majority of the population. The best thing to do on this island is to do nothing. But if you just can't resist, you can choose between lounging on a beach, yoga on a mountaintop, hiking the national park, snorkeling the surrounding lagoons, visiting historical World War II sites, diving in our marine sanctuary, or simply shopping and dining on local fare. Or you can find coral-filled waters, craggy coastlines sculpted of lava, and untouched beaches whose only other sunbathers are the seabirds. Whatever your pleasure, this little U.S. territory is eminently worth a visit for its traditional culture, natural beauty, and incredible hiking. Number 8. Santa Catalina Island, California Catalina Island is a picture-perfect island paradise and a world apart from the hustle and bustle of the mainland, just 22 miles off the coast of Southern California. Swaying palms, white sandy beaches, epic dive sites. You'll find all this and more in Santa Catalina. Whether you're coming for the day, weekend, or longer, Catalina Island is a great place for relaxation and play, with abounding opportunities for adventure. Getting here is an adventure all its own, with a 30-minute ferry or quick helicopter ride across beautiful Southern California waters. For the adventurer, you can get your heart pumping with a visit to the Zipline Eco Tour or engage in water activities on the island that includes jet ski rentals, scuba diving, parasailing, kayaking, paddleboarding, and more. Or you may want to book an amazing excursion through the awe-inspiring interior of the island in an open-air Hummer or Jeep. For a relaxed, slower pace, Check out Avalon's popular and eclectic shopping. Enjoy an island glass bottom boat tour. Make an appointment at a relaxing spa or simply relax on one of the beaches, soaking in the spectacular views. Some of the other Catalina Island things to do include golf, hiking, biking, art, and museums. For families visiting Catalina Island, there are many family-specific adventures and kid-friendly itineraries that the island offers. All in all, Catalina Island is an amazing ecosystem of natural wonders just waiting to be explored. Camping at one of the island's numerous campgrounds is a must-do for nature lovers and a great way to experience Catalina. Whether you're trying your hand at stand-up paddleboarding, ziplining through the canyons, or hiking the Trans-Catalina Trail, Catalina Island offers a variety of adventures for everyone. Number 9. Northern Mariana Islands Located not too far from Hawaii in the reaches of the Pacific Ocean in the U.S. territory of the Northern Mariana Islands, sunbathers, underwater explorers, and history buffs will feel like they hit the jackpot in Saipan, the largest, most populous, and most developed island of the Marianas. Golden beaches and spectacular scuba diving are the primary draws of this U.S. territory, but they are complemented by excellent restaurants, hotels, night spots, 
shopping, monuments, and golf courses. Saipan is brimming with historical sites. Evidence of ancient civilizations and villages can be seen in archaeological remains in multiple locations. World War II history memorials are everywhere, including at Micro Beach, where there are numerous bunkers that the Japanese used to defend themselves against the U.S. invasion. Visitors can take their pick of dozens of places to swim, sun, and snorkel on Saipan. Bring a family picnic to Abian Beach or Pow Pow Beach. Walk on soft sandbar islands at Micro Beach or collect shells at Wing Beach. Dive and see turtles at Lao Lao Bay or do like the locals and take a long walk down the picturesque three-mile beach road pathway. One of the nicest beaches is on the tiny island of Managaha, just a 10-minute boat ride from the main island where you can snorkel, dive, and enjoy this award-winning escape. Many choose to tour the famous grotto, an underwater limestone cavern plummeting 70 feet at its deepest point. The grotto is home to a city of sea life, including turtles, coral, and reef sharks. Land lovers can find satisfaction in Garapin, the main tourist district on the island. This is where you will find the widest variety of restaurants, bars, shops, and street stalls. At the Garapin Street Market, you'll discover a display of Saipan's unique food and craft tradition, or the World War II battlefields depicting a visual history of the Battle of Saipan. If you're into golf, hit the links at one of several golf courses, two of which were designed by Greg Norman. These are world-class golf courses with fabulous tropical views and cliffside holes overlooking the ocean. The beautiful beaches and historically meaningful sites help Saipan rank as one of the top vacation spots on the globe and will make the long trip well worth the visit. Number 10. Amelia Island, Florida Located just off the coast of Northeast Florida, Amelia Island is easy to reach, but hard to forget vacation destination. With miles of beautiful beaches, abundant native wildlife, and pristine waters, this barrier island has long been a beloved destination, but best kept secret for visitors and residents alike. Amelia Island, with its quaint charm, also boasts of upscale resorts and world-class spas combined with a charming collection of bed and breakfast, historic sites, and captivating festivals for an experience that's uniquely Floridian. The island's culture also benefits from an enchanting blend of French, Spanish, English, and Mexican influences. If the tranquility of an uncrowded beach intrigues you, or the allure of wide open outdoor spaces fascinates you, then Amelia Island has everything you're looking for as you plan your much needed escape. Fernandina Beach is one of the reasons why Amelia Island consistently ranks among the top 10 US islands. It is a colorful downtown district with boutique shops, ice cream parlors, and scrumptious restaurants. Not to mention, it hosts 13 miles of pristine beaches, abundant wildlife, and clear, calm waters. History lovers won't want to miss hopping aboard a horse-drawn carriage to discover historic attractions and various points of interest. It is truly amazing when you look at Amelia Island's portfolio of annual festivals. They have the Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance, Amelia Island Jazz Festival, Amelia Island Film Festival, the Southern Lardo Festival, the Isle of Eight Flags Shrimp Festival, and the Amelia Island Chamber Music Festival. Nature lovers will want to go on a kayaking and canoeing adventure, or they may opt to explore the island's enchanted rivers on a sunset boat cruise, book a fishing charter, or explore the island on its numerous nature trails, marshes, and greenways. Or you can settle up on a horse or cycle the many trails with so much abundant natural wildlife to see. Number 11. Guam If American Samoa isn't far enough away for you, there's always Guam, a four-hour flight east of the Philippines. The remote U.S. territory in the Pacifica Ocean was strategically used in World War II but is now mainly a holiday destination thanks to beautiful beaches, clear waters ideal for snorkeling, and a bevy of shipwrecked dive sites just off the coast. The local culture is a melting pot of the indigenous islander people. Guam's Asian neighbors, its former Spanish and Japanese occupation, and now its American influence makes for unique fusion culture and cuisine. Much like the Northern Marianas, Guam to the south was colonized by the Spanish. 
changed hands during World War II and is now a tourist destination for Japanese and U.S. nationals. In fact, its second largest source of income is the U.S. military, whose bases make up about one-third of Guam's total land area. If you stay at one of the sprawling resorts, they are sure to spoil you with indoor and outdoor pools, spas, fitness centers, restaurants, nightclubs, and much more. If not, there are still a ton of things to see and do. Stay in the Tumen Bay District, which features an array of resorts, restaurants, attractions, and entertainment. On Guam, your money goes a little further. No sales tax is charged. Shoppers will find luxury brands and boutiques alongside unique local handicrafts. There's no better way to get to know the community than to stop by the Chamorro Village Night Market, where visitors can sample local fare, shop, and enjoy live entertainment. The Hafa Adai spirit, the spirit of cooperation and pride in island history, can be felt everywhere here. Relax on some of the island's top beaches, including Yapau Beach Park, Retidian Point, Tumen Beach, and Gun Beach. The tropical weather, abundance of marine life, and blinding offshore, a rare opportunity awaits divers who can explore two warships from two different wars lying next to each other on the ocean floor. Or head to Two Lovers Point, a cliffside lookout, and you can soak up jaw-dropping panoramas from 400 feet above the sea. Given how far away it is, a long-haul flight to Guam doesn't come cheap, but you will certainly be in for a treat if you venture out to what is known as the Jewel of the Mariana Islands. Bonus! Closed Loop Cruises Bahamas, Belize, Cabo San Lucas, Jamaica, Mexican Riviera, Grand Cayman First things first, what is a closed loop cruise? Well, a closed loop cruise is one that leaves and returns to the same American port, but it must visit at least one other destination. Think of it as a round trip cruise with one or more layovers in different American states like Alaska or Hawaii, or islands like the Bahamas or Bermudas, or other countries like Mexico or Canada. But the cruise ships can't just make random stops in random countries. There are predetermined itineraries and port of calls or stops, but the diversity of destinations is quite impressive. To boil it all down, the concept of a closed loop cruise is that it allows Americans to sail and visit various destinations without a passport. All you need is proof of citizenship like a birth certificate and a government issued ID, which is what makes cruises so popular. Most itineraries will include one or more different stops in these different destinations and allow passengers to deboard the ship for a day trip in said destination. In addition to exotic places already mentioned in this video, we will add a few more destinations to this already impressive list. Bahamas, home to beaches, water sports, casinos, and the famed Atlantis Resort. The Bahamas is great for travelers wishing to cruise on what are most often short, affordable sailings out of Florida. You're likely to spend a day in colorful Nassau, the capital city, with plenty of time to hit the powder sand beaches, snorkel over dazzling reefs, or shop for crafts in the straw market. Belize Belize is a tropical paradise with plenty of adventure, relaxation, and natural beauty that you can discover all on your own. You can get a taste of this Central American country and partake in numerous activities like snorkeling reefs, discovering caves, or taking a bike expedition through the Belizean jungle. And while Belize isn't known for its beaches, you can explore the Belize Barrier Reef, which hosts diverse exotic marine life, or opt for an exciting tour of the ancient Mayan ruins. Jamaica Montego Bay is the most popular tourist destination in Jamaica, and it's a major cruise ship port. Hit the hip strip, formerly known as Gloucester Avenue, for shops, art galleries, and colorful cafes. Doctor's Cave Beach is the most popular choice thanks to its turquoise water, perfect for snorkeling. Mexican Riviera Home to everything from volcanoes, jungles, and deserts and beaches, Mexico delivers outdoor and urban adventures of all kinds, and a cruise gives you the opportunity to visit the best ports in the Mexican Riviera and get a taste of the warm sun, diverse culture, and festive flavors. Each itinerary offers something unique and different. 
from a private beach getaway in Puerto Vallarta or party in Cancun after the ship drops anchor at cruise port Cozumel. But our recommendation is Cabo San Lucas, down on the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. This beautiful beach resort destination is known as a favorite among celebrities for its proximity to Hollywood. Check out Carnival Cruises, Royal Caribbean, or any other reputable cruise line to confirm that one of these destinations is available for your exotic getaway. And one last thing before we close, and this goes for the cruises and the rest of the vacation spots on this list. Do your due diligence, learn about the current health protocols and travel requirements, and be sure to check the CDC's travel advisories. Have fun and be safe, y'all. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.